Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. Today I have the Midnight Solar SPD or Surge Protection Device. This will clamp down high voltage and send it to ground. Let's say you have a power surge or a lightning strike and it would damage your expensive equipment such as this inverter charge controller. Well, you install one of these onto your hydro, solar, or wind and it will basically take that high voltage and send it down to ground and protect your expensive equipment. So in this video, I want to show you how I install the SPD. On the Midnight Solar SPD, there are three wires coming out of the bottom of the unit. The green is ground, the black is negative, and the red is the positive. So here I've got two wires coming in from my solar outside. Now they're not connected out, so I can work with them. And I have the two wires going to my inverter, which will have an MPPT charge controller. And over here I have a single ground going to earth ground outside. So this right here will go into the bottom of a breaker. So the red will go on this side, black will go on that side. And then up here is where we're going to be attaching these uh, red and black right here, along with these as well. And then the green will be connected to the earth ground. So uh, that is how simple it is to get this connected. Step one, this SPD has a half inch threaded base to it. So I'm going to stick the three wires up into this adapter and I need to screw this in. Now my box is pretty close to the wall so I'm gonna do the best I can here to get this to fit. I now have the surge protection device installed into this small breaker box. So it's really important that the wiring be as short as possible here. So I'm going to cut down this green wire so let me match it up to this previous one here and we will cut it to about right here. And now I can strip this down some. Now I'm just going to use a wire nut to get these two grounds attached together. I do want to use some electrical tape to keep this nice and secure as well. And this can simply be tucked out of the way over here to the side. I've got a thousand volt, 400 amp DC breaker and I'm gonna have my solar wires come into the bottom of this. So I'll go ahead and get that positioned here and get this screwed into place. There we go, solar input coming into the bottom of the breaker. And now this set of wires up here is gonna to go to my inverter. And so I also want to get those into position. And then in those same holes up top here will be the red and black sides of the SPD. Now it's time to get all of these wires tucked up into this box here. The wiring is now done. I have the green ground wires going together here. I've got the black to black, red to red, and then the solar is coming in from the panels outside right here. So it's time to put the cover on this breaker box and then we will turn on the breaker and see the SPD lights light up under here. Uh, I don't know if it shows up right there. You can see my other one's got a blue light on, so this one will also have that blue light whenever this clicks on. The sun is up now. If I show you these LEDs over here, you can see they are nice and bright. If I show you these, you can see they are not bright. Um, and I've also set the inverter to charge the battery at 100 amps. So 
I should be able to get full potential out of this. So let's go ahead and throw the breaker and see if our input goes from about 600 up to more than that. Oh, let's see, we wanna to get to PV2. There we go, 700 watts on PV2. 700 on PV1, there we go. We have officially doubled our watts here on this new set of panels. It's a very overcast morning, so it's nice to see over 1400 watts on a day that is this cloudy. Now you can see both these status LEDs are running well there, as well as the other one over there. This midnight solar surge protection device was about $110 on Amazon. I'll have a link to that down below. It's a really good idea to have one of these in your system to prevent damage to your inverter and battery and other equipment that you may have in your solar system. In some areas, it may also be required. So I will definitely have a link to this down below if you want to check out more information on them. Installing it is so very simple. You can uh, either have the wires go off to a bus bar and then connect that way. Uh, my box is kind of small, so I just linked these two together inside of a breaker. If you have some comments or questions, leave those down below and I will try to get to them. I'm Seth with Tool Second Gear, and I will see you in the next video.